Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the table talk is called O'Cluck. O'Cluck is a chicken fighting game for two to six players. And it's basically a game where you're gonna be getting a lot of chickens, depending on the number of players you have, and a hand of action cards. Your action cards are gonna be doing either attack, defend, or counter, or some special stuff. And your objective is to uh, is to fight your opponent's other chickens to get eggs. If you can get enough eggs, or 12 eggs in a game, or destroy all of your opponent's chicken, you're going to be the winner of O'Cluck. All right, that's the basis of the game. Let me go and show you how it's played. So here's the game O'Cluck, and as you can see, there's two separate decks. You have the Cluck deck here, which can be your action cards as well as your special cards, and you're going to have the chicken deck over here. You can have different types of chickens. In a two-player game, this little rule book will tell you that you're gonna get six chickens to start with, but you'll get less the more players you have. Whenever you have Sunny, you can choose to go first, though, and have that chicken go in front. Otherwise, you're gonna choose two chickens to deal a deal battle with each other, and it's gonna show their egg count as well as their feather count. Every player is gonna start with five of these cards right here, and there's a plethora of different things they could be, like counters, attacks, and dodge. And the first player will then get to start the turn off. So the game's pretty simple. You're gonna be taking a rooster from your stack of roosters in the back and putting it forward. Whenever one dies, you put a new one forward. On your turn, you're gonna get a hand of cards in which you're gonna look through and pick one of them and put it into play. Uh, when you're, it's your turn, you're gonna play an attack card or a special card. And when it's not your turn, you're gonna be trying to prevent damage by either playing a dodge or one of these counter cards. You're gonna go back and forth and on your turn, you can either play a dodge or a counter, but not both. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of turns and how the attacks work and how the cards look like in all their different functions and whatnot. All right, so back to the board. And as you saw, both players have went ahead and chose their roosters. Sunny's the only special one. Whenever uh, it is in your coop, you can swap it with your current rooster. But not only that, if you start with it, you can begin to play with it. So we got to put that one out and have this player go first. Like I said before, you got your specials, your attacks, counters, and dodges. And when it's your turn, you can play either one of these two. On your turn, you can play that attack card in which is going to do three damage. That's what it says on there to the rooster. Uh, of your choice, which would be monster here. And monster ignores all attacks dealing less than two damage. So this one would actually get to go through. And he could have also chosen to play this card, but this one says specifically that when one of your rooster dies, you can play this card to gain one of your eggs. Now, in this case, we're gonna be using these money tiles here, which will represent eggs. So the person that gets a 12 first is gonna win. So anyway, he'll be playing his attack card here. And then your opponent is going to get to play a defense or a counter card. And they tell you the different ones. This is a waffle that cancels the attack. The target your rooster and the attacking rooster takes a single damage so that's kind of like a counter slash slash dodge there this one it does the same thing um but it says you play that attack targeting uh, another rooster so that's kind of cool and then this is just simply a cancel a dodge ability that's pretty useful as well so if i went ahead and played let's say i played this one right here which is the waffle card it's going to cancel the attack that's targeting my rooster and the attacking rooster takes a damage However, he might have a counter. He does. This one says count, cancel an action that would kill or remove a rooster from play. Nope. Um, cancel an action that would kill. Nope, that's not a good one either. Okay, so he doesn't have one of these. He doesn't have one of these guys here, chickens don't fly, which is cancel a dodge or ability card, which would actually cancel this one. And because of that, this damage that goes to here actually gets directed and hits Sunny. Sunny would do three, would take three damage from this attack because it redirects. And in this case, I would score three points on my side of the field here, and we use these three chits to represent that. These would all go to the discard pile, the ones that had been played, and then you're going to be drawing back up. Then on the next player's turn, which would be my turn, uh, he's going to go ahead and choose one of his roosters here to pick. And this is actually a fox, not even a rooster. Um, and as you see, the representation of the feathers here is the health, and this here is the eggs, which represents victory points. So maybe we play Skipper, because Skipper is allowed to play two attacks. And special abilities are usually used once per game, unless the things say otherwise. Some of them also have count uh, counters. After being attacked, uh, play an attack targeting the rooster who attacked blue. So that's pretty cool as well. And don't forget on your turn, you have an additional ability that you want to do. You can actually use your special or your attack, um, or you can actually discard your hand and draw a new hand of cards if you don't like what you have, but then that passes to the next player. However, I can go ahead and play my attack for two, and it's targeting Mr. Skipper here. And Skipper is going to say, uh-oh, what can I do? Well, he can't cancel any actions here that would, that would um, kill or remove a rooster from play. Uh, dodge. So that would work. Cancel and attack targeting your rooster. And in which case, 
I would cancel a dodge ability. So this back and forth play, right? So which would mean that he would end up taking two points of damage. And you're gonna have to find some way of uh, tracking the two points. Maybe you can just use these, I suppose. Um, and in which case, if he got to three, he would die and I would get another two points here, but it would keep going back and forth. If a player ever runs out of, of roosters, the game's over and you're gonna calculate the points as well as if somebody gets to uh, 12 points or if there's a tie, there's a couple other things that happen as well, but that is the basic aspect of the game. Uh, oh, cluck. <laughs> you got a bunch of other cards in here, which I'll go ahead and talk about up here. Okay, so let me show you a couple of the cards in the game. Now, first of all, the attack cards are simple. They're either gonna be two, three, maybe even four damage in the nuggets, right in the nuggets. And you're just gonna be playing those to attack your opponents, roosters, as well as you're gonna be getting these special cards. Some of them are very good, some of them are pretty good. Plucked, take, uh, trade your rooster with another in play. That's pretty cool. Or take a dive, play when an attack kills your rooster. You collect the rooster's eggs and not the attacking player. This one is super good. Save that for a very important occasion. Hen house, a hen in the house, swap a rooster in play with a top card from the free range deck, which would be the deck to the side of the field, as well as all of the uh, additional roosters, which we didn't talk about. There's a, the dodge, cancel an attack targeting a rooster. You play that attack targeting another rooster. Uh, the general, special, swap an, any rooster with an unrevealed free range rooster. And then there's also notice the different amount of health and uh, the the different amount of eggs. So ones with a lot of eggs usually pretty strong and pretty good. Dodge, cancel an attack targeting Salmonilla, and the attacking rooster takes a damage. Uh, as well as the cool one. Like, don't forget, obviously, the most important one for the beginning of the game is Sunny, because you can put this one up to begin to start the game off. Otherwise, you just choose a player at random, roll a die, however you want to decide it. But that is the basic aspect of the game. There's even more special cards in the game that do a bunch of other different things. But that is the basic idea of how you play the game Oh, cluck. So the game basically has this Disney feel kind of, I guess, with the Foghorn, Leghorn style artwork. If you like this style artwork, it's not too bad. It's kind of more on the kids' side of things, I think, though. Any uh, modern board gamer that's probably my age or, or, or older probably not going to be a, much of a fan of this art. However, when I did play with my goddaughter, she did enjoy the artwork. She thought all the chickens were funny, and she liked how the fact that they're not all of them were chickens. In fact, some of them were like little things like this foxy one here, the little bull. And um, yeah, so they're they're okay, they're enjoyable, and I think uh, the little kids are gonna really like this one as well. Uh, the game itself plays fine, it's fluid, you're just basically playing attacks, dodges, cancels, going back and forth, doing damage to the chickens and or, or, or roosters, depending on what they are. And they're all special abilities that can be used, and dodges, and all the special cards specifically take a dive. This one might be even overpowered, it's so good. But when playing with a bunch of kids, it's kind of one of those just basic take that kind of fighting aspect games where it's on the very light side and it's not very mm, I guess problematic for another word because it says oh cluck and the first thing people think is oh well that's not really that you know it's kind of like a, a loose funny thing going on but the theme is definitely not unchild it's definitely child friendly is what I'm trying to say. And it does work. We got to play with up to six players and going back and forth, it was definitely fun, enjoyable, just hitting each other. Uh, if you're interested in deep strategy or thinking or that kind of stuff, you're probably not gonna enjoy this game very much. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Attack, do I have the card to stop it? No, yes, play the card back and forth. Kids are gonna like this game, was what I'm trying to say. If you're an older adult trying to play this as a family game and you don't have any younger ones, it might not be for you. But if you do have a lot of younger ones or you want to get people into the hobby that are younger and pushing them into uh, enjoying these more take that style games without having the deep nasty themes or or the meanness of a game, this one is very light hearted and not very mean even when your chickens are kind of popping off because you're just kind of having fun with it. So I think I'm right in the middle with this one in certain arees, but definitely definitely for kids, yes. Oh, cluck. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, as well as checking out the game Oh, cluck, which is going to be on Kickstarter pretty soon here. I want to thank you to my mama chicken for being there in the first couple uh, couple minutes there. Unfortunately, she had a little accident, and then that was enough for us, but we do appreciate her coming out. She always does whenever it comes to any kind of chicken or barnyard animal game. All right, guys, go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We've got tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, as well as checking out our friends, Everything Board Game com and the giveaway geek got tons of good stuff there as well all right well thank you for watching and as always i do appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you next time